Well, I was born and brought up in Paisley, which makes me a Paisley buddy. But in actual fact, I was an adopted bairn for a wee while because we moved to Falkirk when I was younger. And this was the first town that I was able to, as a young boy, get the bus myself and come into the town and enjoy the high street. Now, in that time, which was quite a long time, I was here when Cavender Square opened up in 1993 by, of course, Isabel from Take the High Road. But a lot has changed in that time. Businesses have come and gone, small and big. But what is great to see now is lots of small businesses, like this one here, Hi. thriving. Hi. And it's, it's so nice just to see so many friendly faces. But why is it so important that local people, I'll be over for a wee drink in a minute, local people support local businesses? Let's find out. So Kimberly, what an amazing day we've got. Warmest day of the year so far in Falkirk. Brilliant. So why have you brought me to Falkirk? Oh, for you to bring the weather. For just enjoy the sun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Falkirk is an amazing town. Um, was a market town, as you'll know. Um, and it is a great example of, you know, a selection of independent retail, hospitality, cultural assets, tourist sites, including a wheel and the Helix Park, that shows a town centre at its best. I mean, it's had so much regeneration over the years, like you say, the, the, you know, like the Kelpies, the Falkirk Wheel, uh, and, and that obviously attracts your tourists that maybe want to stay because, you know, of all the shops here in the town centre. Yes, but even locals, even mm. residents and citizens that live here, you know, we want them to appreciate their town centre. We want them to come here daily and enjoy mm. it. You mm. know, it's really important to keep that localism key and actually driving, you know, new jobs mm. and, and social occasions and actually just seeing that footfall vibrancy in town centre. And it's so important to the future that we actually all work together mm -hmm. um, and look after each other in our towns so that they are fit for future. And it's great to see Cafe looking so busy I think we should probably go and get an iced tea or something that sounds the just sunshine. great <laughs> and I think the busker's just about to start as well <laughs> oh yeah let's do that <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good music and a coffee <laughs> well, it could be better Uh, it. It's a retro brand, it's a retro style. Lauren, you get a fantastic shop. Yeah, I love how everything's colour coordinated. I am colour blind, but I think they're all colour coordinated. They are, they are, yeah. <laughs> so, how long have you been here then? Um, I've been in Falkirk trading in Lint Riggs for 27 years. Gosh, you're only 25 as well. Yes, 31 old when I was from here. Oh, old when I was four, yeah. So, this, this shop itself is mm -hmm. quite new. Yes, it is. So I bought this property in 2015. Mm. Um, bought it from my neighbour, as obviously was next door, and um, bought it in 2015. Really, originally, to expand my women's wear business because we had huge stock rooms next door and we needed more shop floor space. Mm. Um, and then, you know, a lot of businesses started closing in the town. We lost a lot of men's wear businesses, and there was still that need for men to have, you know, for, a, for an independent men's clothing shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was a lot of women um, coming in saying, oh, my husband's got nowhere to go, we lost a lot of the bigger um, stores. So I just thought, you know, I've done well with women's wear. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to, you know, look into doing men. Is this wife yeah. coming in to buy the clothes for their yeah, men? <laughs> yeah, a lot of women, yeah, a lot of women, yeah. Falkirk has got some brilliant independent businesses in it. Um, and it's just a case of, you know, if you don't use them, you'll lose them. We've certainly been very lucky in that I've had a really loyal customer base. And Mister's is in its infancy, obviously. It's a new business and it'll take a long time to build. But so far, people have been coming and shopping locally and liking them. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's all I can say about, you, you know, your place here is just, it's incredible. I haven't seen anything like this before. You're in Falkirk High Street in the sunshine one minute and then you're just immersed in... Immersed, it's this like a different a, world. Yeah, it's like yeah. coming into a theme park or a real experience. You've created this from a Specsavers that was here before. A Specsavers was here before and then we transformed it in the, in the space of two weeks with a team of about seven people into what it is now. And I mean, there's nothing, you you, you can never have, have said this was a Specsavers or a normal no. shop at any time. This is no. like every single thing we've done in we, here. We've filled every corner, 
We we wanted it to feel like an experience, hence why oh, even like experience. the ceiling is like clouds. Everywhere you look, we've got people that walk around the shop about twenty times and still see new things. I like the stratocumulus. So. <laughs> is that the type of cloud? Yes, uh, so you are a small business supporting yeah. other small yeah. businesses as yeah. well. So we, we believe in supporting small businesses more than the big corporate. We have we have poured everything we can into this shop for the past two years. So I love how you, you know everywhere you look as well that there's things tucked up on top of the shelves and yeah. you've just thought about everything. And this was a venture that you and your, your mum created. Yeah, we, we two years ago we opened this shop and we opened our, our other shop next door called Whimsic Alley and it's just been an ongoing project ever since. This, um, this is the sort of place I would expect to see if you were in London or say you were in Edinburgh. Yeah. Why Falkirk? We get asked that question every week. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a big believer in, I'd rather support the local high street and not. why not Falkirk? Yeah, it's, it's a high street and it needs support. Well this is a bit different, I don't think I've <laughs> ever done an interview like this before. <laughs> I don't have a motorbike. Wallace and Gromit, more cheese Gromit. <laughs> um, so, I mean the stuff that you have in here, the massive amount of stuff you've got in here, you're, you're supporting local businesses as well by buying those products. Yeah. Why is it important then for the customers out in the high street to come in and support your local business? I feel I feel like when you when you buy locally, it supports individual people. You know, when you buy from our shop, it doesn't just support my mum and I. It supports all of our staff, but it also supports all the different uh, small businesses that we buy from. It goes a it goes a long way. You know, it's not. And, and talking of going a long way, you taking me home now? I, you does ready? it actually go? It does. The, the, key, the key is not in the building. I, I'm not looking forward to getting in the M8 in this. 